right, so the weather's getting nicer and people are starting to get out and go hiking. One of the questions we get all the time uh, from people who are interested in either starting hiking or recovering from an injury and want to get back to hiking is what kind of footwear do I need? Um, do I need those big, those big hiking boots? Um, something a little bit more sturdy, something a little more burly to get me up and down the hill? Or do I need something like a trail runner that's going to be a little bit more flexible, a little lighter for me, may provide some more cushion? And the answer is a little bit complicated. So the truth is, it's whatever really you prefer. Um, you kind of have to judge based on what kind of hiking that you're going to do and what kind of footwear has worked well for you in the past. Um, the larger hiking boots are going to offer a more solid sole. They're typically going to be more waterproof or water resistant than the mesh running shoes. And they're going to be a little bit more breathable and they're going to offer a little bit more ankle support. Um, that ankle support can be great for folks who are dealing with injuries below the knee or have foot issues and that kind of thing. Um, but they may increase the stresses at the knee and hip uh, because they don't let the ankle move quite as much. So judging by what you have going on, maybe may a good place to start whenever you're selecting your shoe type. Uh, the lighter mesh trail running shoes can be a great option for folks who uh, do better in a, in a more cushioned shoe. Uh, people who aren't going hiking quite as long or people who aren't packing as much weight. That big, uh, that big hiking boot is going to be really great for folks who have heavier packs. So when you're doing those longer hikes, if you're going a day or two at a time uh, and you're having to bring a lot, of, a lot of heavy objects in and out that make sure that you're able to stay safe and having a good time, a uh, larger hiking boot may be a better option for you. That might offer the right kind of support that you need to be able to carry that kind of weight uh, times however many miles you're going. But if, the average, if you're the average hiker and you're going for a day trip, you're gonna go hike for a few hours, and you just want something to keep your foot comfortable, something that's not gonna tear up too easily, a trail running shoe may be a good option for you. Uh, so take a look at it, try a couple of them on. If it feels good in the store and it feels good, um, and it feels like a shoe that you've worn before, it's probably gonna be something that helps you out. Um, the biggest thing is don't let the shoe selection intimidate you or keep you from hiking. Um, either option is going to be great and any, any of those you can adapt to as you get going. Um, make sure that you're picking the right shoe for you. Make sure that you're giving yourself the best shot of having a good time while you're out there.